Welcome back, guys, and we are facing a crisis, a power crisis, <laughs> but we're going to take care of that. Um, first of all, I'm going to deal with the power, and then we're going to have a big session on the old trains. And <laughs> I think you guys like the trains as much as I do, and I've been I've been having a look at this, and uh, you know what? We'll get to that. Right, power. First of all, now London. Where does London actually get its power from? Well, I've been doing a bit of research, and one of the places that it gets its uh, power from is um, a gas-powered power station up here. It's called the Enfield Power Station. And it generates about 400, and, I think 400 450 megawatts of electricity a day. Um, and it's at, the, it's at the top of this reservoir up here. So what we're going to do, we're going to mimic that. We're actually going to put it down here. And Now, I had a look on, on the Steam Workshop, and I had a look at a lot of mods. And I couldn't find a mod that kind of fitted like the exact profile that we wanted um, if anybody can find one let me know but we're gonna use uh, where is it we're gonna use a nuclear power plant right uh, this is the closest thing I could find right it's um, it's clean like natural gas it's uh, it produces a, a lot of power this produces about 680 640 which is um, it's about 50% more than Enfield produces, but it's um, it's still got high cost and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna have to pay for it and whatever. But it'll it'll kind of solve our energy problems at least for now. So we're gonna put this in. We're gonna put this in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a road. Now where are we gonna put a road? Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna run a road like along here, like this, like that. Right. And then, I don't know. I, pff, no idea. What are we going to do? We're going to maybe like this and then like, oh, come on, do something. Do something kind of, sort of nice. There we go. Right, so we've got a road. We've got a road hooked up. Now, what we want to do is hook up the, um, the actual power station itself. Where's the power station? Here's the power station. Yeah, we'll put it over there, I think. Boom. Right. And we're actually going to name this. We're going to name this Enfield Power Plant. It's actually uh, Enfield Power. What is it? Enfield Power Station. Enfield Power Station, I think it is. But we'll call it Enfield Power Plant. It saves me typing. Enfield Power Plant. Oh, by the way, um, oh, man, boy, Nanny Giggles is so upset with me after the last episode. I've been told to uh, to tell you all that um, she's a very good girl. I'm a good girl, I am. Watch, um, watch my fair lady. I'm a good girl, I am. Uh, she's a very good girl. In fact, she's actually a virgin, even though she's got a child. Um, kids ask your parents. So there you go. And she's never done anything bad ever. Um, she is, in fact, a saint. And we should start calling her Saint Nanny Giggles or Saint Regina. St. Regina's actually got quite a nice ring to it. Uh, I look forward to her being canonised. Um, anyway, what? <laughs> God, I do go on, don't I? Right, so we've got a power we'll station up to the... Um, we'll hook this up to the grid. Right, cool. Come down. Oh, wait, and we don't even have to go that far. Good Lord. Didn't realise it was that close. Right, boom, there we are, done. So now... Uh, let's hook this up. Now, obviously, this is taking all of our cash, but we're going to be able to turn off our other power stations because this is producing more power than we need right now. So, like, net-net, we should be doing okay. So, how are we doing? Water availability is awesome. And power, we're going to need a bit more sewage treatment. Electricity is off the charts, so that's awesome. Right, so, hang on, we need to uh, actually, like, link this up. So, where's power cable? Where? Like, so, like, where's the near... So, we need to hook it up down, down to here. Well, that's not a problem. Just take some power cables. Hook that up here. Like that. Bingo! Right, so we've hooked up our power. So, now we can start getting rid of some of these other power stations. So, like, these two over here. We can just bulldoze these. We don't need them. Um... No, I mean, I could move them and, like, maybe save them, just turn them off. I might do that, actually, because you never know. Because, like, two of these 
put like back to back might make a Battersea power station. Um, there is there is a uh, a model that somebody suggested for Battersea power station, but I've got to say I kind of don't really. Like okay, so that's all of um, Gula's power stations moved up here and turned off. So now we can turn this back on, right? And we can see. Um, hopefully, we can see. Turn this off. Hopefully, we can see if everything's still working. And uh, it does seem to be at the moment. I don't see like masses of flashing icons everywhere. And uh, we can get rid of some of these power cables, which would also be good. Get rid of some of these power cables. Don't need these round here. Yeah. Uh, do we need these? Don't think we do. Boom, boom, gone, gone, gone. Now these um, these incinerators, we could do a kind of a similar thing because we can put in. Uh, a recycling center and we probably like only need like a regular recycling center down here uh, will it fit in there oh it won't quite fit in there oh man um, well we'll just put it there that's okay now let's see let's just 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 check on the old capacities so this will deal with uh, it doesn't say 12, 12 garbage trucks oh these have got a lot more I, uh, I think we're going to need a bigger one. I think we're going to need a bigger one. Now these cost fourteen forty. This costs nine sixty. Uh, huh. Yeah, I think we're going to need a bigger one. We're going to need a bigger boat. I think we are. Right. So let's have a look. So how much does the the big one do then? Processing rate seventy two thousand. So that's as big as two of these and garbage trucks. Um, yeah, biggest two of those and garbage trucks. Twenty-five. So same number of garbage trucks as one incineration plant. Yeah, which isn't quite as good. Uh, what did I say? This is seventy-two thousand a week. This is twenty-four thousand a week. It's got more garbage. It's got twelve garbage trucks. Uh, what does this work out? That's, that's 2,000. Man, I'm just trying to do the math on this. And I think we're probably better off with putting one of these darn things in. Yeah, I think we are. I think we are. Man, okay. You know what I'm going to do? What I'm going to do to try and save like at least a little bit of money. I'm going to move this one. And we're going to move this one kind of up to the city put this one up here for now all right so we put this one like up there all right and then we'll whiz back down here and we'll take out um, these two and we'll put in this other one so I'm gonna leave that little spur in there yeah probably I don't know I don't know probably yeah probably not actually let's get rid of that all right and then we'll put in we'll put in our new cheaty big recycling thing there boom right and then we're going to start turning these things off so right now I'm just going to like I'm going to leave them where they are and I'm just going to turn them off cool and then we'll kind of see like how things are managing with uh, with these things turned off so now we've already put this one in here so I'm going to turn these two off as well so you can go off and you can go off cool right and uh, we've got now I, oh yeah I put in a couple down here as well didn't I yes I did right well that's gonna have to be um, that's gonna have to change as well so let's put another one of these uh, big recycling centers in up here I'm actually gonna put a little spur road in just so that the traffic can turn around uh, like Oh man, go straight, will you? Let's put a little straight spur road in there. There we go. Right, so now we can turn these two off with a bit of luck. Let's turn you off. Turn you off. the The question is going to be the trucks. It like whether we've got enough trucks to deal with uh, to deal with this. And actually, you know what? This see, this doesn't generate electricity, whereas these do. So you know what? I'm going to leave that one turned on just to generate electricity for that <laughs> in actual fact right so uh, what else we got then we got these two up here haven't we 
four we've got up here. So, like, in theory, we'd need to put, like, like at least a couple of these big ones. I'm just going to throw one of those in for now. And then we'll turn these guys off. So you're off. You're off. You're off. And you are going to be uh, off. Uh, they're close enough for the electricity. That's good. Okay, so let's see what that uh, what that does to our garbage situation. See, it's now saying that we don't have enough. I think we're going to have to get rid of this guy and pop at least another one of these in. That's what I'm thinking right now. Um, yeah, this little one kind of doesn't do a whole hell of a lot. Yeah, I'm going to just get rid of that. I'm going to bang in another one of these guys. Boom. Okay, that's got us... That's got us kind of, sort of, close. But we still need even more. So I think we're going to have to pop in a second one of these down here. How does that do? Okay, that's almost got us there. But we can start plop plopping these around the place, um, which is going to be a good thing. So you know what? For now, just for now, let's pop couple more of these in right okay that gets us into reasonable territory yeah we'll leave it like that for now okay so having done that we've now uh, if I move these which I can do oh do I just get rid of them because we're not going to be using these damn things yeah I'm just going to get rid of these so goodbye and goodbye right now we've got rid of all the pollution out of Surbiton which is an awesome thing because now we can start putting in um, all of the uh, the residential stuff around Surbiton and then I want to put uh, like turn on these stations and have more um, traffic on the trains more passengers on the trains now I did turn on Earlsfield station which is this is Earlsfield over here which I had forgotten to turn on right so that's now on now before we start doing the other stuff I just want to show you the 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 transport stats because um, I, I, I am kind of obsessed by Waterloo Station now I freaking love it the number of people that are using this is just freaking awesome let's have a little bit of a look at this before we before we build it up I think this is going to be one of the big things that we kind of watch through the series and I'm starting to think that this series is going to take a hell of a long time so I think I'm just going to like live with it. Right. So look at this. We're up to almost uh, 900 a week. But I'm really surprised that this number hasn't gone up more. Because I was watching these trains. And I've seen up to 190. Look, look at all the people. Look at all the people. Right. And I'm going to click on this next train that comes in. Right. This has got 213 people on it. Right? If that's got 213 people on it, how can we only be transporting 140 a week? It's kind of ridiculous. So I like I, these numbers. I think are a bit, a bit silly. They they don't add up. Well, at least they don't add up to me. I mean, we had 213 passengers on one train. How can we only be doing 150 a week? It's crazy, crazy. Right? Whatever. Okay. Um, I don't know. So, anyway, we're going to try and boost these numbers up. And uh, there's a couple of things we're going to do. Right? The very first thing we're going to do, and I think this is going to please a lot of people, we're going to put in Victoria Station. Oh, yeah. Okay, so um, over here we've got Waterloo. Over here we've got London Victoria. Right, so let's, um, let's zoom in a little bit. And we'll try and figure out how the hell we're going to put this in. Uh, let's drop the map down a little bit, right, because we've got no roads there, right, so it's just, here, there you go, look, Victoria Station. Um, so, I guess we put in a road, maybe this road, and then we put in the station. So, I'm going to put in a four-lane road um, down here, like this. Um, now, I was going to put it uh, this side, but I did that and it didn't work as you can see by the fact that this is sitting here So um, I've had to change it around because uh, it, it'll, it'll only go in one side So what we need to do is we need to put this 
kind of, sort of-ish. I, you know, let's put it there. Yeah, let's put that there. Then, if you remember, do you remember, guys, how you do this? You take, um, just like a gravel road. Uh, got it on straight. And then from this, from this snap point here, draw a little gravel road. Right, and then you take uh, as many modules as you want. We're just going to put in two. Just the two. So we move this and plop this in next door there. That'll do. That'll do for uh, for London Victoria. Cool. And then we take out this um, this gravel road. Boom. Boom. There we go. And now we've got London Victoria. We need a uh, rail bridge going across here. Now, I don't know how many lines go across this on this bridge like whether I'm pretty sure it's probably double track but um, I think for the purposes of what we're doing and now oh you know what I, sh I really should have looked at this to see whether it's got what kind of bridge it is I think I'm just gonna put it in like this for so now we'll bring it across to there that'll do so we've got a rail bridge in ho 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 but this is going to be a bit of an issue, this, I think. I don't think this is going to like hooking up to these. Oh, you know what? It doesn't care. It doesn't care. Man, I'm really surprised about that. Right, let's put in um, that one like that. Oh, it smoothed it out nicely. And this one can come out like this. Oh, I, yeah, I'd prefer it to hook up more like that. Oh, 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 that's made it all a bit bumpy. Lumpy and bumpy. But you know what? I think we'll live with that for now. I think we'll live with that for now. I, 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 I must admit, I kind of don't like this little bit. But I don't, I'm not going to I'm not gonna mess about with it too much right now. Right, so then, what, is, what does it do on the other side? It comes down here and hooks onto here. So, okay. so we're going to bring this down kind of like this. And then just... Like, how will you hook up kind of, sort of, ish nicely? Like, that'll do. That you will know, Are do. there any other stations that I really should put in? There is a station around here. I think it's called Queenstown Road. Yeah, here's Queenstown Road. Now, Queenstown Road hooks up to... Um, uh, <laughs> to Victoria. Uh, and, and then hooks down to, like, railways going down here. Right, so I think we kind of need to uh, to put Queenstown. Ro well, I mean, we could avoid Queenstown Road and just put like Wandsworth Road in as the first one, and then maybe we skip Clapham High Street and just have um, Brixton. I think that's Brixton. Sta yeah, that's Brixton Station there. Um, I don't know. You know what? I, I I'm gonna have a think about that, but I'm not gonna worry about that for now. But what it means is that. Subsequently, we can have the Purley train, or the Caterham train as it actually is, going into uh, London, Victoria, which is where it actually goes into. That's going to please a lot of people. we are like, yes, that's much better, much more accurate. So, we'll do that, and then we can have trains coming up from, from this side, going up to Victoria, and it's all going to be very cool and dandy. Right, now, if we come down here... Uh, we're going to start working on uh, on this area around here because I want to get all of this zoned in. So, 